listen to meteorologist Angelique Lizardi <laughs> over here. I think not I think our meteorologist producer Faye DeHoff had a little bit to do with that. Maybe Faye made me look good. A little yeah. bit. Yeah. yeah <laughs> no, I couldn't have said it better myself though. After Friday though, it looks like we're gonna have a little pattern change. It should help kick some of that smoke out of here and up our rain chances a little bit too. So okay. we've got that to look forward to as well, guys. And you know, Monsoon Master 2017, our little contest that we've been putting on here for the last couple of months is in the books. It officially came to an end on September 4th. And we have a winner. Dale Denunzio picked 8.54 inches of rain right there at the airport. That's exactly what it was. He got his guess in in mid-August. So he is our winner, Monsoon Master 2017. And he has that $700 prize pack heading his way. So 8.54 inches from June 15th through about today is what we're going with for our official monsoon total. Most of that fell through the month of July with 6.8 inches through the month. August, though, we fell a little bit below average with 1.74. We still have a, a couple weeks here to add to that total. And I think by about Friday, we're going to see those storms move back into the metro. 102 for a daytime high here in Tucson today. That's about five above where we should be. It's up toward 110 again in Phoenix though, so it could be worse. 94 Nogales, 90 in Sierra Vista right now, 86 for the higher elevations of Bisbee. And the temperature trend through tomorrow looking pretty similar to what we saw today. I'm expecting another triple digit day tomorrow, right around 101, 102. It'll be our 64th of the year, which that's looking a little bit above average for us now as well. But those storms today stuck in northern sections of Arizona and then down near the international border just south of uh, south central Pima County. But high pressure starting to move back over into a more favorable position near the four corners to help draw that moisture up from south of the border. And that's going to be the case as we head into Thursday and Friday afternoons. All right, let's check in with Hurricane Irma once again. Moved through the British Virgin Islands earlier today. The eye of the storm now just north of Puerto Rico. Category 5. Hurricane 185 mile an hour sustained winds holding strong. It's been the case since yesterday now, and it's just going to continue that intensity as we head into the next couple of days riding north of Hispaniola. I think places like Turks and Caicos, the Bahamas are going to take the full brunt of this storm. And this is our spaghetti plots. Each one of these different lines is a different model that's projecting where Irma may end up, and a lot of them right now are focusing in on the southeast Florida co uh, coast by about Saturday, Sunday, potentially as another category four storm, just like Harvey was. Definitely watching this closely over the next couple of days. For her, us here in Tucson, we're talking uh, rain chances right around 10% as we headed into tomorrow afternoon. We up that to around 30 to 40% chance of storms though as we head into Friday afternoon. And we'll show you that here with our seven day forecast. Looking pretty good for those rain chances to round out the work week. But then we lose that moisture once again through the second half of the weekend as we kind of slowly start to end this monsoon here. Still have a couple of chances of rain there though the next couple of days. So we'll see what we can uh, get there at the airport to officially go for our totals. All right. All right. Yeah. All right.